in the kind of computer age where we live in nowadays in 2023 uh, many things are done by amateurs electronics amateurs radio amateurs with the help of computers and then especially the arduino uh, not only the arduino of course but also many other say mini computers that can do many jobs by programming of course you have to program them anyway um, they often work on 5 volts and this amplifier is made especially for that 5 volt range uh, I searched on Aliexpress and found say um, 5 volt amplifiers that could give out 3 watts well that's quite a lot that means that a quite high current has to flow into uh, the transistors etc etc um, that could also mean that they use uh, a voltage doubler quadrupler or an say um, a kind of voltage circuit that lifts up the 5 volt to say approximately 12 volts or 18 volts where such a circuit amplifier circuit can work properly and give out the 3 audio watts or so of course talking about audio it, that's a real science uh, what does 1 watt mean what does 10 watt mean in terms of audibility uh, in terms of say how good the human ear receives um, that um, sound level etc etc uh, Watson and Dotson have made a very very interesting remarks in the past anyway uh, well that's a way too far so let's go to the circuit that I have developed and it works on 5 volts it is suboptimal that means that the sound is uh, not perfect but quite agreeable and well this is how it was made this is the schematic approximately 300 milliwatt when I look on my power supply uh, I did a lot of experiments this day and find, found for instance that this capacitor here 3 and 3 so 3300 picofarad worked quite good to uh, help the distortion uh, bring down and especially here we have that 1k uh, potentiometer that is in the uh, inside the whole frequency dropper sorry frequency voltage drop and that voltage drop is very very critical for the quiescent current that the circuit takes so with this 1k uh, potentiometer you can align the uh, quiescent current furthermore it is a completely classical schematic with two Darlingtons here an NPN Darlington, PMP Darlington and a driver transistor and I found to prevent oscillations I had to mount here a 47k uh, resistor to the base of the driver transistor all these transistors must of course be very healthy say an amplification factor for both end transistors of 150 here uh, 
for the driver transistors uh, say in the order of 250 and also this one of course we are working on a very low voltage and that's a reason why this is a kind of op amp circuit so uh, uh, nothing no energy must be uh, lost in that circuit that's for, for instance the reason that you see here direct connection from the emitter to the uh, the minus anyway and here a resistor of 2.7 ohms it is a kind of protective resistor when something happens in this circuit the current will be limited somewhat and that's more or less all to tell well uh, of course such a circuit uh, could be not very clear how to make it so I made a drawing uh, via which you can see really how to make it and this is the drawing it works on 5 volts and I will show the uh, the properties with the help of the oscilloscope etc um, the BD139 uh, is flipped its face must be down, down to see the base collector and the emitter in this way uh, the BD140 is not flipped it's a PNP transistor this is an NPN transistor NPN medium power PNP medium power transistor this is the driver transistor it's the BC547 here we have another driver transistor the BC557 that's PMP and here it's NPN and I've drawn it out so that you can make the correct uh, wiring and there are five diodes here in the row that's quite high quite a lot of diodes but it worked at its best I tested it and one of the diodes is bridged with a 1k uh, potentiometer so that you can set the quiescent current between say approximately 100 milliampere and 200 milliampere and it has an effect on the sound of course it has an effect on the sound uh, because and not only because this is the say in a very very extreme simple circuit kind of op amp made with um, standard components again here that 3 and 3 uh, backup link capacitor I pen over somewhat it's of course constructive backup link not destructive because otherwise the circuit will start to oscillate you can use here other uh, diodes uh, as long as they are silicon diodes so no germanium diodes but they were tested with the one N4002 and I'm more or less sure that also the one N4007 will work properly in this circuit um, I tested the circuit with a sine wave generator uh, you can also do that uh, perhaps you don't see good results and then I mean that the, say the sine wave is somewhat distorted and that's also the reason why I have uh, named the properties of this uh, audio amplifier as a kind of acceptable but on the other hand it's quite good because on the World Wide Web and especially on YouTube I see many circuits that work on 5 volts that don't uh, give out say a proper audio 
sound and that that was one of my aims well let's listen go to start music So that is how this uh, amplifier sounds. You can hear a slight distortion. And uh, for a day for this demo, I want to lift up the amplification and see what happened, what will happen, and you will surely see some distortion anyway. And you could hear the distortion uh, by clipping, typical clipping of an audio amplifier. That's more or less classical, classical problem. But uh, when you uh, uh, um, align the input level a little bit, there is not so much distortion. And furthermore, interesting perhaps, when I have time, I'm going to turn this potentiometer here, 1K. I hope you heard it. I cannot say play that part of music again. But with that, say, 1K potentiometer, you said the. Uh, uh, the quiescent current and you also set uh, uh, by that way the distortion because this is such a simple amplifier they are say matched together that was more or less all to tell thanks for watching the schematic again And again, how it all was made in real. Also very important, uh, especially when you are a beginner um, or not very well acquainted with electronics. Uh, this could be very helpful. For instance, that this transistor is flipped and this one is not flipped, etc. etc.